Hey folks, this is Adam, and today we're looking at comedonal acne. We also continue on with a little bit of a pimple-popping week in review, about 3.30 into the video, so go ahead and skip forward if you want to see that. I'm here to just offer a little bit of commentary. If you have anything you want to say to me, hopefully not anything too mean, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Again, I'm just here to offer some commentary during our video. My good buddy Watson actually narrates most of our videos, so you'll hear his voice in a lot of our videos. People seem to like him, he's a good guy, loves pets, recently married, and building a house. I just figured I would chime in, I thought it'd be fun to talk with you all as we look at some of these imp impressive pimples. I'm going to try to do this in one take, so if I stutter a little bit, my bad. This one is a classic. Look at those long pimple strands. This one always impresses me. Look at that. Can you imagine your nose getting like that? Who lets their nose get like that? I don't know. Me personally, if I even get the slightest pimple, I'm popping it immediately. I had an ingrown hair on my stomach this morning. I was pretty proud of it. I didn't record it because sometimes it's hard to get those pimples in awkward places. But, as ingrown hair go, it was about a half inch long. I was surprised I let it get that long before I dug it out. Wouldn't have made a great video, but I was very impressed with myself. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you ever get those pimples yourself and you're just happy about them. You're like happy to get them out, happy to pop them. They just feel good. You're proud of yourself afterwards. Alright, it's a little weird. But, that's life. This morning I went to the spray tanner. I haven't been since COVID started, but I had prepaid something, I think it was last Thanksgiving for 10, and I still had nine sprays left, so I figured I might as well use them. Went in there, it was fine. They had new people working. Um, everyone was wearing their masks. I'm curious to hear from you, your thoughts on masks. I don't mind wearing mine in public, and I kind of am happy to see food prep people wearing masks. I think we should have done that a long time ago. I guess in Asia, it's pretty common for people to wear masks even before COVID. Like if you worked in food prep industry, you wore a mask when you're prepping food, but you didn't necessarily wear gloves. People would say, and this is just what I've heard, you can tell me, we have Asian viewers, um, and leave me a comment below if I'm wrong, but people would say, you know, wearing a mask to keep spit and whatever off your food is a good idea. But they would also say, you can wash your hands, so you don't need gloves. And most people don't wash their gloves, so sometimes gloves get even grosser. So anyway, I guess it makes sense, food prep-wise. I mean, it's nice to wear gloves, but it seems like a mask may be better off. Go ahead and leave me your comment below, because that's kind of a controversial topic for some people. There seem to be a lot of Asian spa places on YouTube nowadays, and these guys really, really cut into comedonal acne. You have to wonder how much scarring it's causing, if it's really doing any good, and if it's necessary. I know my wife, when she was younger, did Accutane, and I have to admit, it cleared up her acne, but it dried out her skin, and it was like a nuclear response to skin problems. I don't know that it's good, and I've heard some dermatologists say, they don't re recommend it unless it's absolutely necessary. It does do some good stuff, though. Now let's look at our pimple popping review. This splinter is pretty massive. He really gets it out. I think I found this clip deep, buried deep somewhere on Reddit. <laughs> I love this picture. I know sometimes you guys get upset if I show you pictures and you hate pictures. But that is hilarious. Look how long that ingrown hair is and her response is priceless. Also check out Instagram.com slash Greatest Medical. There's some really good clips, daily updates, stories and things like that. Also, I have to admit, if you go to the description below, there's an Amazon link to Pimple Popper Toolkits. If you don't have one, get that exact kit. Don't settle for the for the trash you get on Amazon. 
See, the thing is, um, it's just like buying the difference between a BMW and some trashy used car. You can get a trashy set of pimple popper tools for 8 bucks on Amazon, or you can pay 15 20 bucks. The better ones are worth it. They're not going to scar you up. They're going to have all the pieces, the uh, kit, the holder, everything about it. The case is going to be better quality. The link in the description below is the case that will last you the rest of your life. So don't be cheap. Don't settle for the $8 kit. Don't get the $5 kit you get on eBay. And the pictures, they'll use the same pictures. But the link in the description below, that's the good kit, and you're going to want to pick it up. good time to recap some of the stuff going on and again just some commentary some things to talk about leave me your comments below i went to south beach at the beginning of the COVID outbreak and i booked a hotel the colony hotel it's that big neon blue one i don't know if anyone's ever been there on south beach it's art deco it's really cool i've always wanted to stay there and the prices were way reduced because no one was going on vacation here in florida it was like a two-hour drive for me so i figured i'd check it out I get there, I get there at like 6 at night, 6, 7 at night, all of South Beach is closed, the hotel's closed. I called the night before and they confirmed my reservation. They sent me a notification saying everything was fine. I get there and it's closed. So there I am at 7 o'clock at night in South Beach, and you could walk along South Beach, but it's pretty much closed. And at the time, <laughs> there were riots going on that night, it was awful, I did not want to be in Miami. So I went and got a pizza, because I had to figure out what I was going to do. I walked down South Beach, found a little pizza place that was open, and called around, and I found a Airbnb in Key West, of all places, that was open. Key West is about a three and a half hour drive south of Miami. Never, never drove there before. So I got in the car. I'd already driven five hours to Miami, or three hours to Miami, whatever it was. Several hours to Miami. I made a couple stops. Whatever it is from Tampa to Miami. And I just headed south. Headed south and um, wound up staying on Key West. And then after I left Key West, it was before all the masks and everything. They actually made us wear masks on the island because it was a local ordinance. Um, spent two days there. A little bit in breakfast. It was fantastic. And then afterwards, went to the Hemingway house walked around, went to a couple bars, and it was kind of weird, like, I didn't like people being that close to me, honestly, um, but afterwards, they closed the entire island to tourists, from tourists, because um, the outbreak was so bad on the island, so I'm glad I didn't get sick or anything, and so far, COVID-free, well into this. I would love to hear how uh, COVID has affected some of your travels, what country you're from, leave me a comment below. And thanks again for watching. Make sure to pick up a Pimple Popper Toolkit. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll let you watch some Pimple Popper, uh, Pimple Popping, and uh, come back often. Make sure to click the notification bell. We have new videos pretty much all the time. Adios amigos.